Double owners to the others and apostles of good news from each other among us until the one dead Israelites, which include the two as children and so called Negroes, Latinos, and Indians, and the blood descendants who would not appear so, according to the book of Jer uh, you know, who are oppressed together according to the book of Jeremiah 1533, what the homies are like The adoption, the giving of the law, the promises, the glory, and the covenants, according to the book of Romans, chapter 9, if you don't know. This is um, Isaiah 30 and 21 to start with. And then ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Romans 2 and uh, 15, which you, the work of the law written in the hearts, their conscience also bearing witness and their dogs, the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. Not a stone near, with a too hard and full assurance of fate, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Okay. First Timothy 1 and 5, now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart. Okay, and if you don't know what the word pure means in the Hebrew it's no problem because we can look it up of course because 2022 is a time where you can look everything up which you don't know or what you don't know <laughs> okay And this is um, the word pure H2889 in the Hebrew, meaning ta'or or whatever. Okay. Not whatever, but you know, um, the blue letter, blue letter Bible um, talks in mysterious and also wrong or. Um, says the vocals or the words basically wrong sometimes so I just say how it is and it's the word uh, T-A-O-R okay however you want to uh, you know basically say it and anyway you have to um, mention or you have to read, or you have to say it in the Hebrew, in the real Hebrew, in the original Hebrew, okay, or better said, uh, um, one and only Hebrew, okay. And the word there is pure, clean, or pure physically, okay. And there was an interesting um, documentation of your piece yesterday that I listen to while I was um, kind of sleeping. Uh, really, I was not sleeping, you know. But um, they talked about the fact that um, that there's uh, a lot of uh, a lot of information on physical um, proof or physical evidence that the Europeans um, are not some drones or whatever. Okay, because you can fake today in 2022 basically a lot of things, but um, the speed and the movement of the Europeans that, uh, that are around, okay, I don't know, 300 in a week, okay, <laughs> only a week, 300 sightings, okay, and the, doc and the um, documentations and the um, proof that we have from the Pentagon, okay. Um, Okay, you know, the Pentagon is not some uh, normal uh, building, okay, it's a military defense building, okay, and you have um, pilots, okay, 
mostly coming out, but also the ones who are in the, um, you know, behind the computers, basically, if you will. So really, the, the real proof is the physical proof or the, um, the actual proof, if you will, you know, the proof that you can see with your eyes, okay? And if you see um, a drone moving with, um, I don't know, okay, um, um, a collaboration of, okay, of a speed where human beings would die actually, okay, uh, you would have a problem to explain, okay, drones are doing that today, okay. So, of course, the physical evidence is always the evidence which, um, uh, you know, which is needed to sometimes um, even the last, you know, to, to um, bring even the last scoffer of scoffers to some kind of um, information, you know, because they don't look things up themselves, so you have to <coughs> give them physical proof sometimes, you know. But really the case is that not everybody sees this physical, um, not everybody has the chance or the, um, it's not the will of Yahweh Bashem or Shai to show everybody the physical evidence of different things, okay? For example, if somebody talks in a documentary about UAPs, okay, talking on a YouTube channel or whatever, you know, in the example that I gave you, this guy's, uh, you know, this guy's life changed from, okay, that day on, but he can't really explain it, okay? It's just like you love a woman or or you love a man, okay, for the sisters that are listening, okay, and you can't explain why you love that human being to somebody who just doesn't, okay? And that's the same thing if you saw something or you heard something or whatever, you know, or you experience something that's the that's the main thing you know <clears throat> you can't really explain what happened um in a way that the other person really was there okay because you was there you saw that physical um that physical matter okay and that's how the proof what really um is heavy okay any any other proof okay it can be theory okay and uh, science and whatever that really doesn't matter because what is science today? Just like an old um, colleague of mine uh, said to me, you know, um, what is science today? You know, they bring things out what they're not sure of or what they're still working on, but proclaiming that it's actually true. Science doesn't, it's not so much the heathens, it's even Israelites today, okay, talking about things, what they don't understand, what they don't really have proof of okay so science today you can really forget it if it's not about something physical you know i have a, a, a mobile phone where i can do a video and upload it on youtube that's science okay to say it a simple way that's science okay but everything else is not science okay and anyway it's given by how about shy of course <laughs> okay so really the science what we have is your peace Okay, we have witnesses, um, you know, we have witnesses that are, you can't outnumber them, you know, just like the videos that, um, you know, the videos that are on the, on the internet, okay, um, from the elders and apostles of Great Milson, okay, you can't number it, okay, it's information, but it's not even um, today, you know, it's not um, there for anybody, you know, not every, not everybody can get this truth, you know. And we were reading about the word pure, so let's go into, this is what I'm talking about, okay, you can, ch you can uh, choose not, uh, you cannot choose me. Okay, because you may think, oh, GMS has all the information about, you know, the truth about basically anything, you know, because it's through the spirit, you know, it's not like we deserved it or, or we, you know, it's, it's um, programmed already. But anyway, it's not like we, or the truth, um, 
you know, you can't choose the truth. Okay, just let me say it like that. You can't choose the truth. Okay, the, tr the truth has to choose you. Okay, and this is John 15 and 16. <laughs> you have not chosen me, chosen me, Salahe, but I have chosen you. Okay, so if you believe in the Bible, you would have to believe that it's actually talking truth here. Okay, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he, he may give it to he may give it to you, or give it to you, whatever. Not whatever, you know, but these things I command you that you love one another. Okay, and this is of course an important verse. Love one another. And verse 18, if the world hate you you know that it hated me before you. Okay, and this is talking about uh, uh, about Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly and um, willingly, okay, calls Jesus Christ, which is, um, as I said, um, a name of uh, uh, what the world uses. Just of a lack of knowledge and this is verse 18 if the world hate you okay again you know that it hate me before you verse 19 if ye were of the world the world would love his own okay so i don't know what um what um your lot is or what experience uh, experience you have to go to and whatever you know but just think about the fact that um, you will never be a uh, original part, so to speak, of this world, you know, things like that. So let me read it again, verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own, but because ye are not of the world. But I... Okay, <laughs> it comes actually again, okay. So, you know... It's not, it's not, um, there is no way to misunderstand, okay, the first um, sentence basically of John 15, 16, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, because here it even repeats itself, and it says, Yahweh Shai says, okay, because according to the scriptures, everything is written by the Holy Ghost, or in the um, Hebrew, the Rakhah um, Okay, the spirit holy but i have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hated you okay so it can be that somebody can misunderstand this because first it says in john 15 16 you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and then it says even two verses later but i have chosen you again okay so anyway um there are still the masses of people thinking oh I'm now on the truth, or oh, um, I see this is the truth, and this truth, and whatever, you know, Jesus Christ, and whatever. But really, um, the truth has to choose you, and you are not in the, you cannot decide for yourself, I'm in the truth now. That's not possible. And with that, you know, to say it how it is, um, our praises to Yahweh, our Shem, our Shai, our Shem, our And you can you can learn Hebrew, you know. You can choose to learn Hebrew, but you can't choose that, uh, you know, Yahweh is still in with you. Okay, that's not possible. <laughs>